Selling on Facebook Marketplace using Facebook shops can be extremely beneficial. So for the past two months, actually, I've been trying to figure out how can I sell on Facebook Marketplace using my Facebook shops because I have multiple Facebook pages and I was trying to establish a Facebook shop and use these Facebook pages to sell on Facebook Marketplace. I got the feature unlocked that was allowing me to post as a page on Facebook Marketplace, but it wasn't allowing me to create a Facebook shop and then use this Facebook shop to sell sell on Facebook marketplace and after a long time of trial and error I finally got my Facebook shop approved to post on Facebook marketplace last Friday so I can list item using my Facebook shop to my Facebook marketplace and in this video I want to go over this I want to tell you what are the pros of using Facebook shops and how I was able to get approved what are the steps and hopefully this will help you have your Facebook shop going as well if you're new to this channel, my name is Patrick and I talk about Facebook dropshipping as well as eBay dropshipping on this channel. And before we do anything, make sure to check out our Facebook group called The Way of the Entrepreneur where we talk about dropshipping and other online businesses. So what is a Facebook shop? A Facebook shop is basically a Facebook business page. I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with what the Facebook business page is. They have existed for ages. So if you have a Facebook business page, some of the pages are capable changing them into Facebook shop and a Facebook shop is basically kind of like a website on Facebook that is used for selling items. So Facebook released this feature I believe two years ago and the idea was if you want to start selling online on Facebook but you don't want to have a website or you can connect your website as well. You can use Facebook shop to open an online shop and start selling items. Compared to regular Facebook marketplace, if you have a Facebook shop, everything is treated as a business. So you're selling as a business. That means that you have to establish a return policy. You need to put your tax information and also pick a method that you want Facebook to cash out your your funds whenever you get a sale. Basically, the difference between you selling on Facebook Marketplace and you selling as a Facebook shop is that everything is treated as a business. Another great feature of Facebook shop is that it's being multi-platform, meaning it's not being advertised just to one platform. You can advertise on multiple platforms, including Instagram, which is owned by Facebook, as well as WhatsApp. You can also connect your Facebook shop to your Shopify store, which you can then advertise on other platforms. This allows you to create a brand. So if you want to specialize in like specific niches, maybe like tech niche, sell all the techie stuff, dropship all the techie stuff, or maybe furniture, it's basically allowing you to do that. Also, there is a better automation available for Facebook shops because you can connect it to your Shopify store and then this allows you to do auto ordering, auto tracking. The program that will help you do that is AutoDS. AutoDS supports Shopify. If you know me, you know I use AutoDS for all my dropshipping purposes. I never use it for Shopify, but I'm gonna start using it for this example because again, it allows for the full automation. I can give access to my Shopify store and to my AutoDS account, to my VA, and they can do auto ordering, auto processing, returns. Everything is kinda automated because Facebook shops are capable of connecting to Shopify and Shopify is capable of connecting to AutoDS. So there are two big cons of Facebook shops. The first one is that everything needs to look legit. It's not like, you know, Facebook marketplace when you can be just a regular person and looks like you're a mom or pop selling local items on sometimes you ship to other people. No, 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 no. When you open a Facebook shop, it's like opening a brand it's like opening a store. You have to have a description, logo, name, everything needs to look legit. So when you're gonna open a Facebook shop, make sure that hey, you have a kind of an idea what the shop is gonna look like. As I mentioned before, maybe pick a niche, like a tech niche and name your store. Super cool techie gadget, something like that. I don't know, just figure out, make sure that your store looks legit because if you don't do that, there's a second con that I wanna mention is getting approved for selling on Facebook Marketplace. That's the biggest con of this whole Facebook shop dropshipping thing. As I mentioned earlier, it took me almost two months to figure out how to get approved and list my items 
on Facebook shop, on Facebook marketplace. There isn't much information about it, but in fact, Facebook doesn't really share how to do it. There are some official blog posts and guides, but outside that, it's really, really hard to get any information on it. It's very suspicious. It's very secretive. Facebook doesn't really want to know you how to do that also i haven't seen any youtube videos about it there's not much information on reddit or other facebook groups i've seen few posts on my groups about it but other than that again there's not much information about facebook shops and how to connect them to facebook marketplace but don't worry this is where i come in and i will tell you what i did to connect my facebook shop to facebook marketplace so the number one thing that you need to do and this is absolutely mandatory this will unlock this feature right away is liking this video okay i had to do it but let's get serious here so here's the thing i'm gonna be completely honest with you in this video okay as i mentioned earlier there's not much information about this whole process and i've tried a lot of stuff and i'm gonna divide these things that allow me to unlock my account into two categories okay the first one is the things that I think are most likely required to have that option unlocked. And then the second part are the things that I think might work, but I'm not sure if you have to do them and if, if they actually will help you. If this sounds too complicated, don't worry. I think it will be clear after you will listen to the whole speech I'm gonna give you. Let's start with the things I think you have to do it in order to get the Facebook shop approved to sell on Facebook Marketplace. So first of all, you need to live in a country that allows to have Facebook shops and Facebook Marketplace shipping options. So I know for, for sure that US is that country, but I know that Canada doesn't have a shipping option unlocked on Facebook Marketplace. If you're living in a country that shipping is not unlocked on Facebook Marketplace, it's probably not gonna work for you. You probably won't be able to have your Facebook shop connected. And then the second thing is you need to be in a country that have, have Facebook shops allowed. I believe most of the world has Facebook shops. Anyone can open the Facebook shop. The problem is connecting your Facebook shop to the Facebook Marketplace account. The next thing that will get you approved is making your store look legit. You have to have a logo, description, bio, legit listings, like everything needs to look like a real business, okay? It's no Mickey Mouse here, okay? No funky business. You need to look legit. Otherwise, your account will not get approved. So if I, for example, have actual website that will make my business look legit. I have a real logo, name, the website looks good. I made it in Shopify. It looks great. So it looked like I'm a real person having a real business and I want to sell stuff. I have an affiliate link for Shopify accounts. So if you use my link, you should get 14 days for free if you want to create a quick website just to get approved. Another thing that I'm sure is actually required is when you go to your Facebook shop and you go to your settings, make sure that you set up checkout on site because Facebook doesn't want your customers when you click on your listing to go to your website. They want them to stay on your Facebook shop, on your Facebook Marketplace account. So make sure you have that option unlocked. Otherwise, you will not get the Facebook shop connected to your Facebook Marketplace. All right, so all these things that I just mentioned are the things that I'm most likely sure that you need to do in order to get the account approved. Now, this is where it's gonna get a little bit vague because again, I've tried many different things for the past two months and I have a bunch of different accounts used to get approved to list on Facebook Marketplace and I'm not entirely sure which thing work, but I still wanna tell you because I feel like you need to do some of these things that I'm gonna mention in a minute in order to have your Facebook shop approved so i believe that you need to have a facebook business manager account facebook business manager account is basically like another account that you can connect all your pages all your personal accounts to it and manage from that that's like in a nutshell what it is i'm sure there's more features to it but i don't want to go too deep into it in this video so you need to create something like that there's a link under this video just click on the link and go follow the instructions and create a facebook business account you also probably need a facebook ad account as well if you create a facebook business account i believe they will automatically create a facebook ad account for you as well it's like a package that those two comes together this one is i'm not sure if you need it but i had it and i feel like it helped me to get approved so you need to have a website like an e-commerce website 
I happen to have my old Shopify website that I created back in a day. It was a mobile controller website. I was trying to drop ship items from AliExpress and then target people on Facebook. Long story short, I created this like two years ago. I still have it. I still have that Shopify account. So I just you reuse this website so it looks like it's a legit business. And I connected my Shopify account to my Facebook shop. And I think that helped me a lot. I'm not sure if you have to do that. I'm not sure if, if this is necessary, but in my case, it'll help me. And let me tell you why. You see, Shopify has a nice integration with Facebook shops. So I had two problems. The first one, how do I connect my Shopify to Facebook shop? That was easy. There is an article that I found on Shopify, bah, 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 really quick. I did and connected my those two together. Now, another thing that I was trying to figure out is how to get the shipping option unlocked. So I was looking up on Shopify blogs and then on Facebook marketplace business blogs and I went through a bunch of articles and eventually I found one on Facebook that tells you that you need to use their partners in order to integrate your Facebook shop with Facebook marketplace. So at the time of making this video this blog post doesn't exist anymore which is weird because I literally went there like a week or two weeks ago and it was still there. Right now, I cannot find this blog post, but basically this blog post had a list of their partners and there was like five companies. I tried four of them, it didn't work, but the fifth one, but then the fifth one was the only one that worked and then allowed me to connect my Facebook marketplace to my Facebook shop. So the name of this company is Seed Commerce. I hope I pronounced this correctly. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. But anyway, this company is an official Facebook partner and they specialize in integrations of Facebook marketplace with Facebook shops. So the process was to email them and they will tell you what to do. So that's what I did. I emailed the Seed commerce that I want to connect my Facebook shop to my Shopify store and they told me that I can do it by downloading their app and the app is available on Shopify so you see that's why you need the Shopify account a Shopify website in order for this to work because you need to download the Shopify app called Facebook and Instagram shopping by set commerce install it on your store this will allow you to have your marketplace feature unlocked. So once I installed the app, it took a day for Facebook to like approve it or connect it or something. And on the next day, I went back to my Facebook shop and I went to settings and I saw that I have a new message below saying, you are eligible to list your items on Facebook marketplace. And when I saw it, I was like, yes, that's exactly what I want. So I set it up. I did all the steps they asked me to do. And from now on, I was able to have my items from Facebook shop be advertised for free on Facebook marketplace. So these are all the steps I did. And I wish I had a better guide for you, better examples, what are the steps, but I'm not entirely sure what really clicked for me. You see, after doing all of that, I went and opened a new Facebook page and that brand new Facebook page already was eligible to list items on Facebook Marketplace. I, I think once I did the Shopify thing, it automatically approved my whole Facebook business account to have the Marketplace option unlocked. So once you do it once, it might unlock it for all your accounts, but I'm not entirely sure because Again, there's no guides on this. There, it's really hard to find any information on it. I haven't seen any YouTube videos on it. Maybe there are some people that actually made it, but I don't know anything. If you know more about this, about this process, reach out to me because I wanna know more what actually triggered my eligibility because I'm not entirely sure. I just told you what I did and hopefully you can do the same thing and it will work out for you. The biggest challenge is, I guess, building the Shopify website and making your store looking good and legit. Maybe I'll make a separate video on it because that's another topic that might take a while. Besides that, like the video, subscribe to my channel, join our group, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.